Hello Red Army, welcome back to another video. And I've just finished watching Hearts 2 Aberdeen 1 at Time Castle this afternoon. And to be fair, I'll just get into the game. I don't really know what to say to be honest because then I'll start off with the team selection. I thought it was pretty much the right team, basically the team that I predicted. The one thing I would have said is maybe Dean Campbell instead of Lewis Ferguson because I don't think Lewis Ferguson is fully fit and was ready to come back and play a, a full game. So I did, I did think that was a bit of a mistake from the Kinnis, but not playing Dean Campbell. But, um, you know, it didn't really look like it in the first 45 minutes because um, we got off to a brilliant start. You know, it was the brilliant first 15 minutes were complete domination of the game and Conor McLennan scored in the 16th minute after a corner that I think Cosgrove hit the bar and then McLennan just tapped it in. So it was a great start from us, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant goal. And um, yeah, it was fully deserved because we were dominating hearts for the first 15 minutes. And really for the rest of the first half, it was most of us. We had all, we had most of the ball and most of the chances. And Graham Shinney had a good chance in the 26th minute to make it 2-0 to us. And he made a brilliant run through the Hearts defence. He couldn't get near us in the first half. You know, that's the team that Aberdeen should have played in the second half. That's what we should have played. Like, I've got no idea what happened in the second half. Because I, I just don't know. I don't know what they could have said that made them play like that. Because it was just terrible, the second half. But, you know, the first half was quite good. Hearts were really poor in the first half. And we were really good. You know, we, we should... You always say when you go to big away stadiums such as Tyne Castle, you need to take your chances, and we just, we just couldn't do that. We took one of them, that that which gave us the one nil lead. But I always thought in the first half that it's going to come back to haunt us that we haven't taken any more of these chances, because at Hearts away you need to take your chances, and we just couldn't do that today. So um, yeah, the first half we had a really solid defence as well. The defence didn't look like any problem. Dominic Ball had another good first half at right back. Constantine looked good, McKenna looked good, and Maxwell looked good on the ball. So I just I just don't know what happened in the second half. So I'll just get into the second half right now. And I think the heart striker, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Ekpiezi or something like that. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Let me know down in the comments how to pronounce it. But I, I've just got no idea how to pronounce his name. So it's Ekpiezi or something. I had a chance in the 55th minute. And, and he missed the target, I think. You know, it was um, a poor shot from him. Joe Lewis came out and he had basically an open goal and he just missed. I don't know how he missed that, to be honest. You know, Hearts could have embarrassed us in that game. They could have won in that game at 4-5-1. But you could say the thing that we could have been about 3-0 up by half-time. So it works both ways in that type of way. So, yeah, um, Hearts scored in the 59th minute. A penalty. It was uh, a pen. In, I've, in my opinion, when I watched it straight away, I did think it was a pen. You know, caught to die and left a leg in the box. And then he went down. You know, you, you, you just can't be doing that. That was poor from caught to That was really poor. And But some people I've heard say it wasn't a penalty. But in my opinion, I do think it was a penalty. So, yeah. And it was a good spot kick from Claire, I think it was. Sean Claire, I think his name is. Sounds like a girl's name. But um, never mind. Um, Sean Claire scored the pen. It was a good pen from him, to, got to be honest there. Um, send Joel Lewis the wrong way. No, not many keepers can send Joel Lewis the wrong way with a penalty. So, yeah, he did really well there to just stick it away in the corner and Joel Lewis dived the wrong way. So I think um, Sean Clare had probably, was probably one of Hart's best players in the day. I think he did play really well. So we've got to take his heart off to him. And um, for the rest of the second half, we just got bullied by Hearts. It was just, it was so bad to watch because um, Hearts could have scored in the 66 minutes again if it was a corner. And I think it went, it was a shot at the back post and Joe Lewis did really well to tip it past the post. You know, Hearts could have been 2-1 two, two up there, but Joe Lewis kind of kept us in the game there to just keep it at 1-1. One, one. And then Colin McLennan had a great chance in the 77th minute. Well, not a great chance, but it was a good chance in the 77th minute just to give us back into the lead 2-1. It's a brilliant run from him down on the right-hand side. He cut it in, and his left foot was about two feet away from going into the top corner. He was really unlucky there, to be fair, to Conor McLennan. So, yeah, on another day, that could have went into the top corner, but it just wasn't our day in the second half. And um, they did come back to haunt us a minute later. I think it's Ick Piazzi, whatever his name is. Scored again. It was a poor defending all round. You know, Dominic Ball 
we've been praising him a lot in the last few weeks because you know coming into this right back position and he's he just had a really poor second half we can't blame him too much because you know he's not a proper right back he is going to have his bad game and he kind of did have his bad half in against hearts i really hope that doesn't um shake his confidence because he because he did have a bad half and um yeah and ikp is who scored and it was just poor poor defending from aberdeen i just don't know what happened in that second half I, I I'm assuming McInnes is going absolutely mental at them right now. But, um, he should be. You know, we've we've thrown it away ourselves. It's not even Hearts played that well. You know, we've just played so poor in the second half. You know, I, it was like watching a completely different team from the first half because um we were all over Hearts in the first half. We were playing really really well. And then it just went all to pieces in the second half. I've got no idea what happened. There was no communication, no leader out there. It just didn't. It just looked like a really poor performance. So many defensive mistakes in that second half. It was actually unreal. And it kind of kicked off a bit in the 82nd minute. Dominic Ball got booked for putting a type of rough challenge. And to be fair, it was a yellow card to Dominic Ball. John beating the ref today. You know, I do sometimes have a go at the SFA because sometimes the ref can be biased. But today, John beating had quite a good game, I'm going to be honest there. So, yeah, it was of the right refereeing decision to book Dominic Ball there. And that was really all of the second half. And now we're back down to fourth after Kilmarnock picked up a good win, a great win, 5-0 against Hamilton, something that we couldn't do at home today. So we're back down to fourth. Second place is off the table right now. There's no way that we can get second. And even third's going to be a struggle from now on because I just can't see us getting third because we can't seem to be be able to beat Kilmarnock. We did it once in this season, and I think it was early November time, but that was a loose focusing free kick. So it was so poor second half. Really, really disgraceful performance in the second half. There's no there's no excusing that. It was it was just really it was disgraceful. Disgraceful second half performance. So I kinda of just want to move on from this game. It's the it's the terrible start to this run of fixtures that we've got now. Couldn't be a worse start, but you know, we've got to raise our heads. So, a way streak gone, but now we've just got to come back stronger against Motherwell on Wednesday. And there was a wee thing on Monday between that and Aberdeen Open training session. I think I did mention it in one my news video last week. So, if you'd like me to do like a vlog for that, let me know down in the comments. And I will try to get some interviews with the players, so let me know if you'd like to see that. And, um, yeah, I don't know what more to say about this this game today it was good performance first half shambles in the second half really 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 poor so um yeah there's not much more i can say so thank you guys for watching this video hopefully we can come back and get to mother well and we can get this streak back on back on form because we've got a big few weeks now if we want to salvage anything from this season right okay so i'm aberdeen fan tv and just I'll see you in the next video and let me know if what you, what you want me to do for the open training session on Monday. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye.